Vivian Marcoux is licensed by the Department of Financial Institutions and MLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona 0941504, Florida LO76508, Georgia 69178, Idaho, Nevada 57237, Oregon, Tennessee 184373, Texas, Washington MLO237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. Well, good afternoon. This is Debbie Marcoux, the Mortgage Mom, and you are listening to Mortgage Mom Radio. What do we do here? Well, we talk about all things real estate and mortgage. It's all of the education and information that you need to either get yourself into that first house, refinance, buy your first investment, whatever it is that you need to do, we are here to help you. We are bringing you all of the hot topics that you need, and I'm doing it Monday through Thursday right here on YouTube. If you're listening on Saturday or Sunday by radio, you're thinking, wow, this sounds recorded. Well, it is. We're taking all of the content of the week's episodes, and we are creating one show for you by radio. So if you do want to ask questions or you want to interact, you've got different options. Number one, call the office. It's 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. L-E-N-D and the number four. So W-E-L-E-N-D and the number four. Call the office and get yourself an appointment scheduled. We do make calls on Saturdays and Sundays. We're just not there in the office answering live. So you can call in and the call service will get you booked for a call that day. If you do not see a time or they don't offer a day and time that works for you, you need a little bit earlier in the morning or you need a little bit later in the afternoon, please feel free to send me an email to questions at mortgagemomradio.com. I'd be more than happy to help accommodate your schedule. So just let me know what might work for you. You can also go to my website to mortgagemomradio.com and you can book yourself an appointment right through the website. If you do want to know when we go live, we send out one text message a week. We don't want to bother you four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but we will send it out once a week so that you know that you'll always catch at least one show. If you'd like to opt in for that, please text the word MOM to 844-935-3634. It's the same telephone number you'd call, but you're going to text the word MOM. Please don't text opt in or subscribe or please add me to your list. It is an automated texting service just to opt in and get you a link to that handy dandy phone app that Mortgage Mom Radio offers. So if you'd like to use the phone app, you're going to text the same word, same mom, M-O-M, to 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. That's W-E-L-E-N-D and the number four. So that way you're going to have the phone app. You can watch, listen, book an appointment, run calculators, check out how much you qualify for, watch the home buyer workshops, tons of things that you can do with all of the tools from that phone app. You'll also get one text a week letting you know that we're live. And if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you're going to know when we go live every day, Monday through Thursday. So check it out. It's all things real estate and mortgage. And what we do is we get you into your mortgage. We get you qualified for that loan and we help you get closed either on your refinance or your home. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about solar. I think solar is very important for everybody to understand. It's becoming a very big deal. Uh, many, many homes today have solar where Five years ago, it was not nearly as popular or you didn't buy a home that already had it. Over the last five years, it's been booming. Mr. Tesla has come out and done all of these awesome panels and roofs that are solar and backup batteries and, you know, power walls and all that good stuff. And people are really getting into it, which I love. Trust me, it's something that I actually need to look into myself, having just purchased a home that's larger than what I, you know, didn't plan on larger than what I'm used to and my utility bill is quite a bit bigger than what I ever expected so I'm going to be looking into that solar as well and I thought hmm what a great topic for me to be talking to you guys about remember that this show is interactive so if you're watching me do it live you're more than welcome to ask me questions put it right into the feed let me know that you're there sometimes I'm gonna read them out loud and I'm gonna answer them for you and other times I'm going to actually uh, type in the answers right through the feed. So please feel free to put those questions in and no matter what, you're gonna get a response from me. So let's talk about solar. Why is solar great? Well, solar's awesome because number one, you're getting solar from the sun, right? But let's talk about number two, solar is expensive. It does cost money. 
How do you pay for that solar? What does that do to your financing? What does it do to your qualifying? So there's a couple of things that are very important for you to understand about solar. Number one is that you can actually lease all of your equipment, all of the panels, or number two, you can buy all of the equipment, all of the panels. It's very, very similar to a car. So if you think of it in essence of if I purchased or I leased a car, a purchase means that in the end, you're going to own the own the car, right? You're going to make a payment every single month that after five, six or seven years, whatever your financing term is, you own that vehicle. There is no, no, no payment left. There is no loan left. There is no balance. You own it. It's exactly the same with solar. You can buy or you can lease. If you lease it, then you are leasing it at a much lower monthly payment and it is leased for a particular period of time. And at the end of that term, those panels and all of that equipment are going to go back to the company that leased you that those items. But you are going to pay a monthly bill. If you buy, you are either going to pay monthly bill if you finance or you're going to have to pay for that solar completely out of pocket. So again, no different than if you were to purchase a car. You can either write a check for that car or you can finance that car. Financing those solar panels are going to become more expensive than leasing those solar panels. But if you actually pay it outright or you pay it off, as soon as you do, you own that equipment, you own those panels, and you no longer have that payment, which is in turn where those utili utility bills do become much less expensive. Let's not talk about the, or let's not forget either the benefit of those backup battery packs, right? Those power walls that I mentioned earlier. You could be storing yourself power in case of a power outage. It's going to cost you a lot less money than running a generator with gas, right? So some very beneficial things, again, to all of this solar equipment. Uh, whether you feel that it's good for you or whether you feel that it's not worth it for you is a personal opinion. It is something that you do need to look into. You need to run the numbers, figure out what that payment is going to mean for you, whether it be a, be a buy or a lease, and determine what is my current payment on my utilities now on average. So obviously in the summertime, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because you're running air conditioning than what it would be in the winter. So you really want to try to take an average. You want to maybe go back and look at your last 12 months of bills to figure out where is your average monthly cost. Then look at what the cost would be to either finance or lease that solar equipment. And does it make sense? Does it offset? I do believe that it will. And I do believe that it is beneficial, but it is something that you need to run those numbers. The math doesn't lie, as I always say, to determine if it is right for you. So getting on to what is the difference, should I buy or should I lease, right? And that is truly your own choice. If you buy, you will have a loan. The loan is typically secured against the property if you get the loan from the solar company. Some other ways that you can go about getting the money for solar would be to refinance your home. You can actually take the cash from your home to pay off the solar equipment and panels uh, and not be considered a cash out refinance. We can actually consider that a rate and term refinance, which would give you a much better interest rate because those were energy efficient improvements. So there are ways to get the money without taking the actual loan, like a separate car loan, separate payment that we can do for you with a refinance. If you already have a loan and you already have solar and you're making that payment every month, you very well may want to look into, again, a refinance of your property to pay those off. In the long term, it is going to be less expensive by doing it through your home because it will be a longer term at a lower interest rate, which will give you a better monthly budget. So definitely something to look into and something that you can call us today to talk about. Uh, you can also go to the website and schedule your appointment, book the appointment, and, and get that phone call, that consultation. Remember that if you want to talk to me, the mortgage mom, all you have to do is ask for Debbie, 
and they will book that appointment on the calendar for me. If you want to talk to somebody immediately and get answers right away, all of the girls on my team, Cindy, Heather, Carrie, Heidi, Tiffany, everybody is very, very good at what they do, and they all understand every topic. So if you don't want to wait for me, you don't have the time to wait for me, and you'd like to speak with them, they're more than capable of giving you the education that you need in regards to solar. So please don't hesitate to call, and if you don't want to wait for me, don't wait. It's okay. But if you want to wait with me, wait for me. I would love to talk with you. So again, for solar, we've, you've got options. You can finance. There will be a lien against your property, or we can do a refinance and we can get you the cash out that you need to buy that solar. The other option is to lease the equipment and leasing is going to be at a lower monthly payment. Again, there will be a payment. So it is something that you need to be able to work into your budget and you will not own the equipment at the end of the term. Some people feel that this is the best way to go. You're always going to turn your equipment in and maybe get solar again and down the road, there's gonna be better technology and they just feel that's the best way to go. That's the same as somebody that leases a car versus buying a car, right? So it truly is a personal opinion, whether you lease or whether you buy or you know, what you feel is the best route to get there, but you can also lease that equipment. It will be a lower monthly payment if you are financing. So if you were looking to finance the entire cost of all of the equipment and panels, you don't have the cash to pay out of pocket and you don't, or you don't have the equity to cash out to do the solar work, then you may want to consider leasing. It would be better for your budget monthly. However, when you go to sell your house, the person that is buying your home will also need to take over the monthly payment for that lease. They will be responsible to pay that monthly payment. The same goes for, your, for the purchase of the solar equipment. So if you have a loan for that solar equipment, you will either have to pay that loan off for that next purchase to per person to purchase your home, or they will have to be able to get a loan to pay off the equipment or finance the equipment. So remember, that's going to be one extra step and obstacle for a buyer coming in to purchase your home. Most people, and it is much more attractive to a buyer, to find a home that has solar that is owned, no payment, and no loan. So again, maybe looking into a refinance to get the cash to either pay off the solar that you have or get the cash to install the solar that you want may be a very good way to go. If you have any other questions whatsoever about solar, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Again, it's an interactive show. We're coming to you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Whether I'm doing it live or I'm premiering the episode, I am there and I am answering the questions, whether it's reading them out loud or, or answering them in the feed. It is, I am there and I am there doing it with you. So subscribe to the channel, give us a call, book the appointment, go to the website, it's mortgagemomradio.com. Everywhere is Mortgage Mom Radio. So the website, mortgagemomradio.com. YouTube is Mortgage Mom Radio. Subscribe and click that notification bell to all. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Ask your questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. Book your appointment. Call the office. It's 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. That's W E L E N D and the number four. And if you guys are listening on Saturday and Sunday by radio, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. But remember, these are four episodes being pushed into one. And that is why it sounds a little funny, but we would love for you to interact, be part of it, and actually watch us do it. So go to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Debbie Marcuse, licensed by the Department of Financial Institutions, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504. Florida, LO76508. Georgia, 69178. Idaho, Nevada, 57237. Oregon, Tennessee, 184373. Texas, Washington, MLO237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom.